Hi, good morning. I'm here with Mr. William Teo, who is the president of the Lok Lam Club, who I have known since 2011 when I started my research on Dr. Sun Yat San and his comrades in Ipoh. And in my grandmother's memoirs, she had uh, said that her grandfather, who is my great great grandfather, had visited the club daily and it was a Kuomintang hub. So Mr. Teo had always been kind enough to welcome me to the club. I had always wondered what the club looked like in its old location, which is on the corner of Jalan Laksamana and uh, Brewster Road. All that we had in all these years were anniversary photos of the committee members every five years, and it was taken at the backdrop of the front porch. Recently, we've been lucky enough to find some old photos of the building at its old location. And uh, today I'm here with Mr. Tio, who is sharing some thoughts with us on what the club used to be like and his thoughts about it. So, hi Mr. Tio, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Can you tell us about the club way back then, even though you were not a member no, then no. and became a member in 1980s? What was you know, the function of the club then and what made you join Lok Lam Club? You want to become a member of Lok Lam. It's not e that easy. You have to be introduced by a lot of people and you are well known in the society. Uh, so you are uh, only capable of become member. And did you have to wait long to? Yeah, myself, uh, I waited for two years. So what happens is you submit an application and then you will be called for. Then an just uh, because it's full already, so you have to wait your turn, uh. Right. Uh, and then it happened that somebody passed away, then that's why the following years. Year by year, I got a chance. Right. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the president uh, of PCCCI, uh, he waited three years. Wow. Uh, right. No chance, right. no vacancy. Oh, okay. So, the vacancies only come up when members pass, pass away. away. Or, or resign. How yeah. often do members resign? Resign. Nobody. Okay. No. So, this is a photo of Lok Lam Club, which faces Laksamana Road. Mm. And across from that is Simlin, Simlin. which is today, today Hong Lam, right? Hong Lam already, yeah. Okay, so then this photo of the club is the one that faces, the main entrance is at Brewster Road, mm. and then on the other side mm. is Hangang Association, mm -hmm. which is here it is, still around today. The land that belongs the land, to the land, Hangang the land is still is there. Uh, it's uh, become a parking place. Parking uh, lot, uh, right. And then he, I think he placed, uh, don't know, one man, uh, how many thousand he paid to Hangang. 100 cars can go in. The old town, new town area has a shortage of parking space. Yeah. So I'm sure it's uh, doing very well. So yeah. speaking of doing very well and financials, um, when Lok Lam Club sold the land and your premise to Yik Fung, mm. this was sometime in 1976, oh, yeah, 77, yeah. right? How much was it sold for? In fact, it's uh, Yik Fung that pays us. One hundred thousand. Big phone paid you one hundred thousand. Yeah. It's not a sale. It was no, uh, it's not a sale. It's a compensation. Olden days, uh, you are the landlord. Uh, you got a kembang kembangan uh, because you occupy it first. You are the there. I have to negotiate with you. You are the landlord, or Yik Fung was the landlord? No, uh, uh, you Yik own the building. Buy, buy the building, and he, uh, he become the landlord. So when they bought the building, was Luk Lam still on the land? Yeah, he bought over that time. He is there already. So Yik Fung paid Luk Lam one hundred thousand to move. Yeah. 
and then he can build the building he can build, build the the, the e but, building. but why is a payment not considered a sale from it's no Lake Lam to it for Pay hundred thousand then a makeable yeah. like arrangement to move out mm. and then with that one hundred thousand mm. you chose this location which uh you where you are today which is at Jalan Gopeng. He belongs to the, the doctor uh, I think Dr. Lip. And who is Dr. Lip? Uh, oh no I, actually Bellfield Street I tell you. Uh, he sold his hundred thirty thousand. He's happy already. So you were paid, you were given 100,000 by Yek Fong and you bought a uh, place, the current place in Jalan yeah. Goping for 130,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the rest is from uh, Lee Hoi Seng, they all do it. Uh, right. Top, 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 top. right, right. So Lee Loi Seng was the president then when this arrangement was transacted. Correct, correct. So thank you so much for your like sharing and before we wrap up oh, I also came here I was so surprised that uh, how do you feel about the discovery of all these photos <laughs> it's very good yeah thank you Mr. Thieu money, money you know, cannot buy one. yes so um, we hope that we can use this photo as a start to mm. you know uh, capture some more of the Lam's history so thank you again for your time yeah. and uh, bye bye everybody see you soon